hello friends welcome to my channel today we are going to texture the 3d lantern that we had created in the previous videos if you haven't watched it the first part i will put the lantern modeling tutorial links in the description please like share and subscribe my channel so that you will get notification of my upcoming videos on this channel go to file new pbr metal roughness alpha blend document resolution 4096 select your mesh and hit ok this is my personal preference to keep the field of view to 30 now delete the default layers before texturing the lantern we have to bake mesh maps a new window will open in which you can select the output size there are many options you can try we don't need the id map so i am not selecting it now bake mesh maps it will take some time according to your settings these maps are very important to achieve maximum output from substance painter Now we are done with the baking mesh maps. This is the time to start texturing the lantern. I am creating a folder named metal body. Let's find our first material iron raw damaged. Drag the material to the folder. Open the folder, select the material and in the properties field we will adjust some settings go to the color palette select something brownish I am renaming the layer base metal. Let's add another layer which will be paint layer. Open the color palette, give it a blue color. Unselect the height, roughness, normal, opacity and emission. On the paint layer, press right mouse button, choose add black mask. Now in the black mask, choose add generator. In the properties panel, click on generator, select metal edge wear. It generates a black and white mask based on bake maps and user settings. I inverted the mask, this mask representing edge wear on this metal object. I am playing with the given sliders to achieve the best I can from this mask. It will take some time but you can get a good result. I think these settings are good right now. We can change the settings later if we need it. Let's add another layer. How about roughness layer? Change the height value to 0 0.02. Roughness and metallic value to 1. Add black mask. In the black mask, choose add fill. Now in the properties fill panel, Click on the gray scale, search for cloud 3. Now you can manipulate the mask properties.
I am using the Trisplaner projection which is very useful to project noises and patterns without creating any visible seams. Now let's add dirt layer to the object. Now let's find a smart mask named Dirt Leak Dry. To add a smart mask, simply drag and drop one from the self onto the target layer. Now in the properties panel, spend some time. I mean you can play with the settings to achieve the best result. Let's change the base color. Now let's add a rust layer. Change projection to triplanar. Uncheck rough and metal. Let's add another smart mask. I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any comment about this video, you can write it down below in the comment box. Also please like, share and subscribe my channel so that you will get notification whenever I upload a new video for you. Thank you. Let's add noise layer. Increase the height by 0 0.01. Add a black mask. In the black mask, choose add fill. Now go to properties field. In the gray scale, search for spots.
change the projection to triplanar. Rename the layer. Let's hide the glass. Our wick is not a metal piece, so we have to deselect it from our metal body. To do this, we will apply a white mask to the folder. Activate the polygon fill and in the polygon fill properties, slide the color value to 0. Now just click one time on the wick. We have to remove the dirtness from some of the elements. Simply right click on the mask and choose add paint. Select the elements in the properties polygon fill. Click on the elements where you don't want the dirtness. So we have removed the dirtness from these elements. Now we will add a new layer. In this layer we will add some stickiness kind of texture. Again same process, add black mask, choose generator, select dripping rust. Go inside the black mask, add level, play with the contrast value. I am again adding paint. Now select the polygon fill. In the polygon fill properties, color value 0. Now deselect all the elements except the elements where you want the stickiness texture. Here you can see that the texture is visible on the two elements only. To improve the stickiness texture, we will add another layer. Put the layer on a new folder. Rename the folder and the layer. Now we deselect everything except the roughness and metalness. Increase the metallic value to 1. Add black mask to the layer. Select the elements where you want the texture. Now we will apply a black mask to the folder. Go to the smart mask self and find moisture and drag it on the black mask.
Thanks for watching the video till the end. I hope you like the first texturing part. In the next part, we will continue to texturing the glass and wick pieces in the lantern. See you in the next video.